Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Pandas to import data set from Microsoft SQL Server. All right, so here's the uh, data set that I'll be using for this demonstration. And here's the uh, SQL statement. So let me grab the SQL statement to my Python script. I'm going to create a variable called SQL query. I just want to say that uh, this script is not only limiting to Microsoft SQL Server database. You can use this script for other database systems as well, such as uh, MySQL or Oracle database. All right, so here let me import the libraries. So to uh, create the database connection, I'll be using the uh, pypyodbc library. And you can install the library using the command pip install pypyodbc. And I know some people use the other library called pyodbc. That library will work as well. All right, so here let me import the pandas module. Now we need to create our uh, database connection. So for SQL Server, I need to provide the server name. And if you don't know your server name, so here let's go back to uh, SQL Server. So you can type select followed by to add symbol server name and run the statement. And that will return the uh, server name. I'm going to copy paste, assign that to the server name variable and the database name where the uh, table is located. And this is an Austin traffic instant table is uh, located inside the JJ database. All right, so here let's create our uh, database connection. I'll name the connection as uh, CONN from pypyodbc that connects, oops, that connects. I need to provide the uh, connection string. I'm going to uh, just copy paste the connection string. All right, so here, uh, here's the driver name. And make sure that you insert two curly brackets on both ends. And here's the uh, server name, database name. And make sure that you set the trust connection to yes. All right, so here I'm getting on air. Let me see. I'm going to run this uh, highlighted code block. And I said I know the issue now. So here I have an extra uh, close parenthesis. And this should go outside. Oh, I know why. Okay. Now we have the connection created, and we also have the uh, SQL statement where we want to uh, run the query. From the pandas module, there's a method called read SQL. We can simply provide the SQL statement we want to uh, execute, followed by the connection. And I'll save the output as DF. Actually, let's call Let's call this uh, DF1. Now if I run this statement, oh, I forgot to create my SQL statement. All right, so if I create DF1 object, if I print DF1, that's going to return the result set from SQL Server. So basically the exact uh, same data set from this table right here. In case if you just want to uh, import the data set without the column headers, so here, let me show you a different technique. Now let's call this DF2. I'm going to insert notes, uh, where headers, where are headers. All right, so if you don't want to uh, import the data set with the headers, so we need to create a cursor object first. I'm going to call this a uh, cursor object C. Then I'm going to create an instance of cursor object. Now going back to df2, here I'm going to insert pd.dataframe. Inside the dataframe method, I'm going to insert the cursor object that execute. And then I'll pass the uh, SQL statement. Oh, this should be C. All right, so if I run these two lines, and that will turn the result set as well, except that this time, we're not including the uh, common headers. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found this video useful. 
in the Swiss. See you guys watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.